and the Friday Rub team here ready to rip into this one. And let me start uh, by saying uh, good evening and welcome to the FOSS. Sam Newman is here, 300 game legend of the Geelong Football Club, celebrating 30 years in media. Oh, welcome oh, to you, him. FOSS. Look at him. Thanks very much, Luke. It's great to be here. It's uh, a, um, a significant game tonight. Will I state the bleeding obvious? It is indeed. Uh, we'll get into that shortly. Damien Barrett right, uh, voted bit, very shortly. Uh, a bit more up than that on the opening. As the well, number... I can't hear myself in these. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the microphone you turn on there, Foss. Well, uh, I, I can hear myself. Well, you want to go louder? What? Do you want to go louder? Louder? Do you want it to be up, the, the volume? No, I can <laughs> see the knob there. It says volume, Gary. But If you uh, turn it to your right, Foss, it'll, it'll go up and you'll hear sorry, yourself. Well, good clear. evening, Luke. How are you? <laughs> uh, very well. Let me say hello to Damien Barrett, the purple-headed warrior, voted the 43rd most important man in television. Hello, Damo. Hey, Dars, boys. Good evening. Uh, Gary Lyon is here, six-time All-Australian, uh, former Victorian captain at the Lone Wolf uh, Melbourne Football Club word legend. Hello, Gaz. How are you, Duke? Uh, nice to see you. Uh, pity James not working again tonight. Is he going to work for us again at some stage? Stage. I think North's worried about him attending the no, he has be, to host It's a massive match. I'm looking forward to the contest. Presidential to, duties, of course. Well, yeah, of course. Looking forward to uh, working with Chief. That's what I look forward Who to. Who is here as well, Jason Dunstall, a four-time Premiership player, legend of the AFL, kicked in excess of 1,200 goals. Hello, Chief. How are you doing, Duke? We're going very well. And I, and I think we need to start uh, on the Hawthorne oh. Football Club, Gaz, because oh. uh, they had... Premiership uh, favourites? Uh, and still are, Outright. despite the really? fact they're champ, Gary. Uh, oh, Buddy yeah. Franklin oh, won't play for actually, three weeks. It's a good point. Extraordinary. And we need to discuss that. Is that an absolute disaster? It isn't a disaster, but is it a mismanagement issue? Of course. Well, it's it not good having the best, you know, most exciting player on the ground out for the three weeks as you come towards um, you know, the, the business end of the season. Let's just cut to the chase. That's uh, a situation that... Hawthorne would be would detest now of who's doing it is that's why I'm, I'm delighted to be in the presence of, of oh. the chief because he knows everything that goes on down there and I one of the questions is there been an inquiry chief hmm. and this is serious because sometimes you think I'm joking has there been an inquiry into what I call the Franklin incident here we go the Franklin incident oh, well the buddy sounds injury. sexy doesn't the, it the there, buddy comes, there comes the you're spin. the footy already, director no, no. you're in charge of no, overseeing the, whole the club footy spin chief no. And it's the... an administrative disaster and scandal. That's what it is. Ah. Give us the uh, club spin. Go on. There's no spin. I've already actually already had to thrash this out with Warrior on Wednesday afternoon. Oh, that would be a uh, Warrior. Oh, <laughs> it was on Triple M. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Look, the uh, unconvincingly th too, th Chief. I thought oh. you were. Oh, hello. Yeah. Unconvincing. I think the uh, the problem is perception is very different to the facts in this well, case. Well, give us the facts. Yeah. And a lot of people think he went into the game carrying an injury. Because he went off the ground the week before with, with tightness and didn't train the <laughs> well, week that would after. Be some sort with, of injury. Yeah, it was with, tightness. Be an indication. Well, well, <laughs> it's an indication, and as I tried to explain to Warrior on Wednesday afternoon, explain to us. You would have half a dozen players that experience tightness on a weekly basis in one muscle group or another. That is fact. Where was his and tightness? His tightness was in the hamstring. Oh, that's a nasty area. It is a nasty area. Now, so the first game. thing you do mm. is you scan it within an inch of its life, Ooh, guys. So you thought, Chief, I could just, you thought that we'll just squeeze him into the side against the weakest side in the competition because <laughs> we need to beat them by 160 <laughs> points uh, to prove a point. Is that what we thought? We wouldn't rest him because he had muscle twinging in his hamstring, <laughs> which put him out for a month probably, subsequently. Probably is if I just say yes, Sam. That's exactly well, what we well, did. No, that'll do, mate. I that, want you to fine. be candid and well, honest. Well, I was just going through the process, but you'd rather uh, uh, come up you, with something you were filibustering. a lot more um, it was, it sensational. Was, so if you want to run with that, Chief, let's just run with that, mate. It was spin. That's it's good. You're filibustering. Now, oh, now it's starting to warm up. Yeah, no, you no, are. It's starting to warm up here. Because you don't want it. Chief. Chief was you don't want to listen, so there's no point in trying to explain. I want to listen because no, you, you were don't. going along nicely. So, get <laughs> so back you on scan there. it, Gary. Yes. That is the first step. Yes, Jason. And the scan was 100% clear. Right. You 100%. still have the tightness? 100% clear. Right. So you rest them for a few days. Mm -hmm. And the tightness disappears. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, we're not going to play him unless he can get through a searching fitness test without any feeling whatsoever in the yep. area. When can we jump in at... Or do you yeah. want to keep no, going? he's well, coming. Not interrupt. Just, Go ahead. Just finish no, that. Okay. So he did to... that. We sit back. And they put him through absolutely everything yep. possible. A one-on-one -on -one yes. long fitness test. Tested everything possible. Mm. Then asked if there were any issues whatsoever. There were none. Mm. Waited to see how he pulled up. There were none. Mm. And this is something that we do, as I said, with probably half a dozen players on a week-to-week -week basis. And he's never had a history of soft tissue injuries.
So, so when there was no clinical signs, no medical signs, nothing. So how come he did it in the game then? If you put him through every possible test, how come he did his hamstring I'll in the tell game? You exactly why, Sam? Coincidence? Because medicine. What? And the human body medicine. are not one hundred percent perfect. And so nor is the Hawthorne Football Club. So what you do, no, nor, nor is the Hawthorne Football Club, no. nor is any club. So you have set protocols in place. You follow them to the letter for everybody. I venture to and say, you make those decisions. Jeff Kennett had been there, he would have sacked you. <laughs> I he wouldn't to, put up with I it. I venture to say you're a fool of a man. No, no, I'm Chief. not, Chief. Yes, you are. No, if I was a Hawthorne faithful, I'd be marching on your office. So you know, more, you know more than the medical experts. I reckon I know a little bit about as much. You know as Mate, much as medical we were experts. Told, we were told <laughs> You know as much as medical experts. Can we just put that on record? About playing football, I do. About this case. About, about I this know, case. I know when I played football, I, I know it, more I about this. my body than medical people I, on the wait, sidelines wait, can watching. I ask a question? I want, Spike Please, Milligan, Sam, I was going to say. Please. Spike McVay. Spike McVay said yesterday that Essendon had a wellness questionnaire about how you feel. I've never heard anything more ridiculous in my life. That is just an entitlement and benefit job for a public service union. Uh, and a, a, a wellness questionnaire well, we, about we, how you're feeling. Did in, do we you do have the same that? thing at the club? Yeah, absolutely. Well, what did Buddy say? I felt tightness in my hamstring. Did he say I'm feeling weary and I've got a, a bit question. of a... Didn't I say there was tightness after the game? If, why would you possibly play him against the lowest side in the competition? Because, Sam, you follow the same protocols you do for every player every week. But he's different to every player. He's, no, he's not. Yes, no, he's he not. is. Oh, so, uh, Jason, <laughs> now listen, I'm he's prepared not. to let you talk. Gary. It's uninterrupted. Gary, you, don't, don't, have, tell you me. don't have rules for someone and rules for don't others. Don't you dare oh, try oh, and say geez. that with a straight <laughs> face, <laughs> you idiot. Look at him no, laughing. I'll tell you what you do have. You have set protocols. Hey, and no, you, you, you do. Not you do. for the best player in the comp, you don't. No, you do. What about this? So you're saying he got through all that yep. unconditionally. Yeah. So he goes into the game and you always had planned to play him for the whole game. Well, mm. you, you wait and see how it goes. And was you think if someone is going... Well, there was a thought perhaps... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. There was a thought hang perhaps on. that he or one of another, maybe four or five players, would be the right ones to sub out if the game hmm. is at that stage right. where you want to do that did, you want to get some you, game into someone else. Or did you not, or were you or were you not quoted as saying he was always only going to play a half? No, I didn't say that. Or words to that effect? Not to that effect. I said the plan I was him, he may well be subbed. <laughs> I said the plan was he may well be so, subbed, so but you, not half a game. So you go, went in with a mindset that suggested you might not need him for a whole game. No, went in with the mindset mm. that he and one or two others, or three mm. or four others, would I be would the ideal ones him, to sub out. Well, would it not be perhaps more prudent to ideally rest him, given the yeah. circumstances? No, well, see, we didn't need the rest him because we'd had a bye two weeks earlier. But and one had, thing but that you do like to do... But he hadn't had hamstring soreness or tightness one or two weeks early. No, this is Mate, just we nonsense. have had... It's not nonsense, Sam. We please. have players that are tight... I know that. ...every single week. I, I know and that. you analyse it within an inch of its life. We have I know expert that, medical people that do I'm this. Not, I'm not being... And, and we are not going to override those systems because it's... No, I understand ...a hot all of topic that. for you guys to talk about. No, it is a hot topic. Do you know what? We actually sat there, guys, and I, I promise you, in Match Committee, and said, you know what? If he does go out and do a string... Mm. Yeah, oh... ...we're oh. going to get pilloried. But if you allow that to be a driving factor no. in your decision, it means your protocols no, are wrong. No, no, I understand so you, all you that. said he passed every test. Why he would you be discussing the fact that he might do a string? Because you just talk about, hey, imagine if he goes out and does a string. Imagine what the media is Look at me, do. Chief. Now listen to me. I'm now I've had enough false. of this. Uh, Buddy Franklin <laughs> is the number one marquee player in the competition. Please, as a Hawthorne faithful, you couldn't say to them that this man having got hamstring tightness, would play against the lowest side in the competition, you would rest in. There is one set of rules for some people and run set Jerry. for others, he, and he you well Sam, know it, and Sam, it's just Sam. preposterous to he say had, something different. He had hamstring tightness after the game. He didn't have hamstring tightness all week. You understand oh, the and then he got, then he did his hamstring during no, the I game. I just want to go back to the bit where you know more than the medical. No, no, don't worry about that. If you had your time ridiculous. again, Chief, then, if and I said that, mate, we'd make the same decision. You'd play, you'd play you'd him again. To, you have to back oh, your okay. protocols. Come yes. on, no, Chief, then. you can't I, use hindsight. You no, can't say, I know "Would you that. do it again?" If no, you're but there, there will be an opportunity. There will be a circumstance again arise somewhere down the track where you are going to play a lowly side of kids who have just about had enough in terms of the physical demands of the game on the MCG. You've just 
got yourself to a stage where you're the outright premiership favourite, and we all think you probably will win by yep. five or six goals. We know we and, didn't need and to play. And he is the most he? important player in the Hang competition on. with hamstring tightness, surely. Yeah. If we you had it again, you'd say... We didn't say, need to play, buddy, to Hang be on. GWS well, last we, week. Well, we all know that. But... You don't invent reasons to leave players out. No, I know that, and I'm not being overly argumentative. It's very easy, with the oh, use yeah. of hindsight, to say we should have left him but out. No, people but all I'm no, saying is, mate, I'm satisfied. People weren't using hindsight, I'm Chief. satisfied people. that the process is fine. There wasn't hindsight involved no, you know why? late last week. Because people think he had an injury. Jason, it was the same he leg. He had tightness. It was the same it, leg being Damo, pinged. Damo, it was the same leg. We've discussed this, yeah, right? But it wasn't the same leg. I don't need you to poke no, your little badger no, head poke in it and in. start no, trying was it to... The same leg. Was it the same was leg? Was it the same leg? Badger head. Was what the same was leg? The Where the damage was the done leg. from week to week. Where the tightness was. Yeah, it was the same leg. The one that he was tied in is the one now. And even the scan itself shows bleeding. It doesn't actually show a tear. Do you understand? And I don't understand the difference in the medical... His hamstring was bleeding. It, it this bled, is a, it, it his bleeding. badger head. I like that. Uh, his hamstring was bleeding. And you still played him. No, it wasn't bleeding after the first scan, you nimrod. It was bleeding. The first scan was 100% clear. 100% clear. I don't know why I'm bothering to try and explain because it to you. Because you're just speaking uh, nonsense. I'm not. It's I'm absolutely not. It's you, know you are mouthing, I, I back Chief. our medical staff, our, I back our training staff, staff, and I back our processes, and we would Chief, do the same thing again. On Sunday, then, no, when the injury would, was done, 100%. did you then have cause to question people who made the decision to play? Oh, well, you, the go, you go back. No, I did not charge down. Now, Gary, just wait. Oh, <laughs> someone said they saw a silverback style setup oh, charging down yeah. the stairs and banging down the <laughs> For those listening at home, that was Sam thumping his chest. <laughs> That's what they do. Silverback style. Yeah. Silverback style. Apparently, that apparently, apparently I kicked the door in and just a moment. No, did you no. ask questions? No, what you do is you revisit the process and you ask that same question. Would we have done the same thing all over again? And the answer is yes. But if you didn't have any doubts going in, why did you then need to revisit? Because Ooh. something happened, Warrior. Ooh. We have an injured player, and you do analyse that. Have you reviewed and it so, since then? Yeah, well, I just said that. You look back and you say, would we have done anything different? Ooh. And we couldn't have. With the information we had, we couldn't the, have done anything different. Let me go to the Twitter. I'll just, I'm not even going to look at it. It's the first time I've looked at it. Chiefs in denial, just admit your stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> this is just gratuitous flog. inventing of tweets. Hey, is flog talk shot? from Chief. That's Chris Island. Just show, just show me, please. There. What's that red one with the white dot? What's it say? What read do, it what his arms aren't long enough. Hold it out. out. He can't what read it. What happens when you corner a silverback? No, what does it say? The red <laughs> one with Look, the dot in the middle. Don't eat the Foss, Chief. Probably tastes like prunes. <laughs> <laughs> read all the other ones out, Chief. <laughs> Continue with the uppercuts, Foss. You're owning, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> If they, the Chiefs going to continue to give us nothing, what's the point of even having him on? I don't know what they expect oh, me to give. Oh, hello. Well, that's come on, I, Gary. Don't take the piss. Get that's involved. where I came uh, in, Chief. You, I'm not taking the piss. This is one of the pressing the issues spin. of the week. Get involved in the, the tweets. Uh, hashtag Triple M footy if you want to do that. Uh, you can get on triplem.com.au as well. We need to take our first break. Trying to work out if we got to the Chief there. He called Damo Badgerhead yes. yeah, and the Foss and Nimrod. Nimrod. <laughs> <laughs> Just started well, you said an that old you prune. know more than medical experts. I, I, I know more than medical experts when I'm playing football about how my body's feeling. Well, forgive, I know far more. Forgive me for the misunderstanding. I don't think we were talking about you running around on the yes, week. Yes, we were. Yes, I, yes, yes, I said about that. Buddy I was already yes, I said oh, so that. it was you that did the hammer That's what we need to do. Right I now. would know more about medical Chief, experts when I was playing you are football. You ninety-five percent Nimrod. <laughs> we'll move on right now and take our first break. You're going to hear more from the bosses. <laughs> got the silver back going. He's going to break his sternum. Here. Gary Lyons. <laughs> that hurt. More from the chief, who's not quite happy, chief anymore. Sam Newman. Just if I may, during the break, it uh, <laughs> went to another level. On air, we heard the chief <laughs> refer <laughs> to um, um, Damien here as the badger head. <laughs> And then me got Nimrod and Prune, and off air, uh, the chief, in a casual conversation to Damien, called him a skinny little frog-faced, pointy-nosed snothead. <laughs> and a Nimrod, did he? No, he called me a we've Nimrod. Had, we've had good feedback on Nimrod, ben, Sam. It, it, it's actually a compliment. Ben Hutchison has tweeted and said, according to the book of Genesis and books of Chronicles, a Nimrod is a man of power on the earth and a mighty hunter. That's exactly what you are, Samuel. <laughs> mighty hunter. Uh, Gary Lyon well, is here, Damien well, Barrett, and the Chief as well. And I think Heath Farnsworth might have summed it up. He yeah, said, Chief, you're a flog, didn't need to play. <laughs> Hashtag. Uh, can, we mention, can we mention the one where the bloke says, what about the wolf? Yeah, I'll read that. Gary Lyon, L-I-O-N, gives <laughs> nothing.